Hey guys, welcome to this episode of Sailing Nico. We are on a broad reach to Pigeon Island. If you don't know what a broad reach is, basically that's uh, one of our most comfortable points of sail where the wind is just coming uh, from our stern on the side. Uh, our sails are off to the port side and uh, we are just loving it. Pigeon Island, I'm gonna get Jazz to tell you all about it. Oh. famous French diver Jacques Cousteau. Well, he decided that this place here in Guadalupe called Pigeon Island was so amazing that it was made a Cousteau underwater park. It's supposed to be incredible for diving and snorkeling and definitely worth a stop if you like scuba diving, which we do. So we're going to stop there. Hopefully we see rocks, cliffs, corals of all types, octopus and many species of fish. An excited shout of Tortu, which is turtle in French, can often be heard in this anchorage. Apparently it can be rolly though and really overcrowded according to reviews. So hopefully we have a good experience here. There's another ferry right here. Plank dodged the fish trap and dodged the ferry. They're all over the place. They're meant to give way to us. But you never trust that a ferry is going to give way to you. Naomi, what are you reading there, baby? A book. A book? What book? The Bronze Horseman. The Bronze Horseman. Recommendations? It's a very good book. Recommended by your mother, and you said, oh, I won't like it. But it's good, right? You're hooked. Yeah, it's very good. It's like Shuggy's reading it with you. Yeah. I'm doing research into Panama Canal transits and agents and haul outs because we want to get another haul out, update our anti-foul before we go into the Pacific. It's still looking really good from Tunisia but we just like a few extra coats and we want to change a few of our through hulls and make sure everything is honky dory before we go on this big Pacific dory. crossing. Yes. I think we're going to do it in St Martin at a DIY yard called Toby Sal but they lift the boat out by crane which is a bit different. We've used travel lifts before, but people recommend it. I don't like the idea of a crane. Float <laughs> on, drift away. It's too bad that you can't stay. It's too bad that we became all the harder things that we want to change. Float on, drift away. It's too bad that you can't stay. It's too bad that we became all the harder things that we want to change. You were, you were, you were more than what I dreamed you. You were the fading light that I cling to. And I won't lie, say I need you. We've stopped uh, halfway just in here at Guadalupe because uh, our friends that we're traveling with they must have hit a fish trap or a whale or a log, something submersible because one of their rudders is gone, the other one's really bent, they've got a catamaran and so we might be helping them bend that back, uh, back up. We're pretty exposed here and so we can't really stay here the night but uh, pretty gutted for them. Uh, it just points out that uh, these, these fish traps, they're nasty, you want to stay away from them. Um, they probably dragged one for a little while and uh, without knowing it and it just ended up ripping those things to pieces. Sucks. Kids are doing some school while we wait. They're just loving it. No, not really. You come to my computer and you pretend like you know what's going on, but you never do. Well, because you're not helping me. You're doing something quite fun. And if you wanted to it's not really fun, school, but I guess it's kind of like designing, learning Netflix, school. Just got a scripture so wall in my like room, and I'm just designing a new scripture on my wall. What's the scripture? Uh, carry each other's burdens, and in this way you will fulfill the law of Christ. Nice. Galilations. Here we are, we've arrived safely at Pigeon Island. Boys are having a bit of fun on the kayak, sun setting behind me, and uh, tomorrow, hopefully, we're going to get out and uh, show you a little bit of what Pigeon Island is all about. All right, baby. Heading Time out for a dive. Time to go diving at Pigeon Island and see if it's all it's cracked up to be. Yeah, people talk about it. The best diving in the Caribbean, I they know. say. Others say that it uh, could be a bit silty 
in bad viz because of the storm. So or we'll they've see. been disappointed because it's, it gets talked up so much and then it's not. Yeah. The reality's not so good. Got to get ahead of the tourist rush though, so we're nice and early. We'll be finding out. Sorry, you hate that. Uh, really nice coral, some nice fish. Mm, there's just something about marine reserves though that kind of gets me because I just love catching crayfish. Anyway, uh, we are off simply just around the corner uh, to take Inca and then tomorrow we are probably going to Antigua. souvenirs and cool things is also a computer where you can check in and out of Guadalupe. So we're going to check out, seeing as we're going to Antigua tomorrow. Buddy, why don't you set the dog for a bit of a walk? Uh, Go on the beach. Uh, Can't be bothered. So checkout's done honey, super simple. All done. It was actually really friendly. It's so easy in some of these countries. But I've heard Antigua is a bit more strict. Like, I think Coco has to have a vet check or something. Mmm, vet check. Aren't we supposed to get her vet check? Yeah. No, and they're really easy. You just, they don't even care if you have a dog or not. Uh, look at that. So these streets are really cool. You just stop and you get a cool little dog. Coco's seen a chicken. <laughs> Look, I don't know if you can hear that, but she's literally strangling herself. Here's the chicken head. That's Greenberg. Sorbet in France. It's pretty like you, honey. There is some serious presentation class going on here. Back off to Nikau. Get some shut eye. So we can, uh, have a big day sailing tomorrow. 
All right, it's the next day and we're off to Antigua. We've got 45 miles to go. Today it's gonna, weather reports say we've got 14 to 15 knots of wind. Uh, it's gonna be a broad reach. That means the wind's just coming a little bit behind our boat and uh, should be some really nice sailing. A little bit slow, maybe we'll be going about sort of six knots and uh, hopefully we catch a fish. But fishing over here is not so good because we've got all this weed in the water and, and uh, it just gets caught on your lures all of the time. But we'll see how we go. It's beautiful here though. Got to put the dinghy up obviously and uh, we always chain our dinghy up at night just to the back here. Most cruisers either put them on the side or hoist them on davits. Uh, we have a big chain that runs around this hydraulic because it's pretty common for dinghies to get stolen off the back of boats, so it's just something you gotta do, it's a bit annoying. You know, anytime we wanna go somewhere, it's not like just jumping in the car, we have to put the dinghy up, do all sorts of other jobs, anytime we want food, we actually have to walk to the supermarket and then walk back to a dinghy somewhere. Antigua, Coco! Antigua! Antigua! Yeah, 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 like cool. Have you said it like that? Antigua! She likes it better than that. Yeah. Antigua! Antigua! Mini super yacht. Yeah. Mini super yacht. Yeah. In New Zealand that would be a super yacht, but over here it's a mini one. Especially in the Med, right? That's like a baby super yacht compared to the Mediterranean. Which I'm starting to miss a little bit. Are you missing? No, I'm enjoying the Caribbean. Yeah. I like it. So full of good virtue. You are. It's a great place. It's fishing time, yeah. Uh, uh, you know when it's morning time, you know that it's fishing time. Woo! Fish Biden. Feel the business. The mahis are coming. I wonder we can eat like a box of chocolates. Would you like mahi for lunch, Bella? Maybe a bit of blue marlin, or yeah. some tuna, I don't know, there's so many fish out there. Thank you for the wind, I think, sir. What happened? Our ship in the vicinity, I requested to keep a sharp lookout to assist if possible and to take contact and report any information to a lot of people to watch in general. Got an emergency on board our friend's boat. We helped try and fix their rudder the other day. They've just put out a pan pan for assistance because they've only got one rudder and they're trying to make it back to the safety of Port de Petra in um, Guadeloupe. They were. Um... So, what's a pan pan for our listeners? Okay. So, a pan pan is when you need assistance. Okay, so, you're not in... you're Are you able to so, we've got someone who is keen to help. Yeah, so the Coast Guard can send a boat, but before they do, they put out a pan pan to see if there's anyone in the area that can help them and tow them, and if nobody responds, then they'll send their own boat. Your other call is a mayday, which means you're in imminent danger. Uh, can you switch on channel 67? Uh, could you switch on channel 67 too, please? Put it on six, put seven. It on six, seven. The thing about VHF is you can be a really good eavesdropper. You can speak uh, to each other to make a bunch for your assistance, and uh, we can uh, have a check on you. And uh, if the guy when you arrive on, there we are. The guy will probably speak French, though, right? Maybe could be a problem. So they have got to get. Uh, New rudder, fabricated. Lagoon said it will take a, a month to two months to get a new rudder. Yeah, but I think they'll be able to get it done quicker. I think they'll be able to get um, either one made here in the islands or um, maybe a salvage one from some of the hurricane boats. People get those boats and they salvage all the bits that are still good off them and then people can buy them when they need them. How'd they lose their rudder? Probably got stuck fish, around a fish trap. Probably fish trap. There's so many fish traps around here it's a real hazard. They didn't feel anything really hard hitting them but 
something must have happened because you don't just lose a rudder for no reason. And the wind has picked up, I can tell, because Nikau makes a little noise. I don't know if you can hear that. She's singing. Oh my goodness, look at my hair. It's terrible. That's worse. Can no. you can you hear that? Ooh, that's Nico saying, I'm going seven knots. I'm going seven knots. And the wind has picked up to fifteen. It's pretty cool. She communicates. Beautiful sail over here, about six hours, averaging about seven knots. Gorgeous day. As we're coming in, the water is getting bluer and bluer, and we can see beautiful white sandy beaches. There's a lot of uh, shallow water coming in, so we've got to be careful about where we're going. Uh, but I'm sure we'll manage that with the help of the trusty Raymarine. Antigua used to be an English island, it's an independent country now, and we're looking forward to exploring it, and especially Barbuda, which is part of Antigua, but a different island to the north, which apparently is incredible as well. So here we are in Jolly Harbour We've laid anchor in about three meters of water. Our keel is about two, so it's pretty shallow. Our friends Kamori, who are Kiwi slash Aussie couple with awesome kids, are right behind us. David's already gone over to see them. And it's pretty amazing here. Lots of boats though, so hopefully the wind stays blowing in the same direction. We've got 18 meters of chain out. They've got 18 meters of chain, so we know we're not gonna swing into them and we know we're not going to drag because we always pull back on our anchor at about 1800 reds so uh, it digs right in that's probably equivalent to about a 40 knot gust yeah so it should be fine it just depends if other people swing at different rates because we've got some other smaller boats dotted around us too and we'll make sure we'll ask some of these dudes around us how much chain they've got out Check out this place, look how beautiful it is, Antigua. If you like the episode, please give us a thumbs up, flick a couple of comments our way, it really does help. And uh, next week we're going to go up to Barbuda, which is part of Antigua. Check that out and uh, maybe even keep sailing up north. Hey, uh, thanks for watching.